joint effort between the United States Air Force and Navy have resulted in a possible fix for numerous issues plaguing oxygen generation systems in multiple aircraft, including the F-22, F-35, Navy, F-18, C, D, E, F, G Hornets, T-45s, and A-10 Warthogs. Fourth generation aircraft introduce life support systems that pull air from a diverter and an intake to feed to the pilot. This is different to older jets as they carried pressurized oxygen in tanks on board. These tanks required replacement and posed as a deadly fire hazard in the case of an accident. But as advantageous as these new systems are, problems have been haunting these life support systems for over a decade now, and on multiple platforms and in multiple service branches. This has prompted the Air Force and Navy to come together to carry out a joint investigation into the issue. The investigation has found that the primary issue is that the cockpit pressurization system would often lag behind by as much as the equivalent of 2,000 feet of atmospheric pressure. This would occur as the aircraft would rapidly change altitude. This issue was compounded by the oxygen system providing fluctuating levels of precious air to the pilot. The fluctuating air levels are attributed to a poorly performing nitrogen filter that is experiencing faster than expected wear. In addition, there are also signs of engine exhaust contamination. While the fix is underway to repair these systems, a far bigger issue has resulted in this episode. The military has lost a lot of trust from its pilots. Some pilots had to make the issue known to the public and nearly go on strike to have the military take the matter seriously. We're also in a time where airline wages are rising considerably, and the military has been struggling to keep its pilots as more lucrative deals in the private sectors line up. Additionally, one other mystery has yet to be clarified. While the Navy and Air Force were struggling with these issues, the Marine Corps was not experiencing any abnormal amounts of malfunction rates despite flying the same model planes, such as the F-35 and the F-18 C and D Hornets. It has been said that it's possible Marines were pulling air from a different part of the engine, which could reduce wear on the filter, but this information has not been disclosed, so we simply do not know. But what we do know is the military has its work cut out for it if it wants to rebuild trust with pilots. This would be a crucial endeavor as the Pentagon seeks to fix its pilot shortage. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video and encourage you to return to this channel for more news and insight into the military and civilian aviation world. Until next time, enjoy your dance with the angels.